Hey yogis, it's Mags from Yoga with Mags. Thanks for joining me. So today I'd like to invite you to a fairly challenging flow into half moon. So there will be less explaining and more doing. Um, so probably if it's the first practice of yours, I would try uh, one of my yoga for beginners video. Otherwise, if you're ready to take on this challenge, come join me. So we've got to start on our back. In Supta Baddha Konasana, so feet together, legs open out. You can clasp the opposite elbow if you want to. Take a really deep breath in. And exhale through the mouth. So feeling your body melt into the mat. Allowing your hips and your shoulders to open. With each inhalation, creating more space in your body and your mind. And as you exhale, breathe out any tension or tightness. And then gently bring the knees up, draw the knees towards your chest, give them a gentle hug. Rock from side to side. And point and flex your feet. Come to the center. Inhale, lift your shoulder blades off the mat. Exhale, forehead to knees. So squeeze, activate your core, your Mula Bandha, as well as your Uddiyana Bandha. And breathe into the chest and feel the energy rising, feel the heat. As you inhale, release, exhale, bring your feet down. Feet parallel, arms alongside of your body, push them through the big toes and as you inhale, bring your hips up for bridge pose. So keep squeezing the legs together, shifting the hips up breathing into your chest. So gentle back bend as well, opening up through the groin, through the hips. So you exhale, gently bring the hips down. And one more time, inhale up. You can interlace the fingers and walk your shoulders in to deepen this opening if your body is welcoming it. As you exhale, bring the hips down, draw the knees towards your chest. And this time extend your arms out to the sides, feet together, shins parallel to the mat. Pressing your lower back into the mat, drop your legs one way. Probably not all the ways to keep the shoulder blades rooted. Bring it back and drop the other way. So you don't have to go far just to awaken your obliques. I'll just go a couple of um, times each way. Bring yourself back to the center, draw the knees towards your chest and rock yourself forwards and down. And this time when you're up, shins parallel to the mat, open through the chest, engaging the core, squeeze the thighs, extend your arms out. Exhale, dip your toes and then extend them. So twice more. Keeping the chest open, spine long, and then stay with the legs extended or shins parallel to the mat. Open through the chest, gentle smile on your face. And then cross your legs. Then inhalation, bring the arms up, weight length through the body, Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, the other way. Inhale. Exhale. In. And out. Inhale. And as you exhale, bring the hands down. Roll the shoulders. 
extend your legs out turn towards the right leg brace your core and try not to lean too far back to round through the back but lift the leg up and then bring it down lift it and bring it down one more time lift and down we switch sides lift down lift down lift down excellent transitioning onto all fours three rounds of cat cow inhale lift your hips lift your heart exhale round your back inhale exhale in and this time as you exhale tuck your toes and push back into downward facing dog stay here for a few rounds of breath pedaling the feet doing whatever you can to connect with your body finding a strong base pushing down through the hands and the feet and then as you inhale walk your feet towards your hands exhale into fold inhale rise up to extended mountain pose exhale hands to heart inhale right exhale fold inhale half lift exhale fold one more time inhale half lift and as you exhale step back into down dog root down through the left leg inhale your right leg up exhale step the foot through between the hands and drop the left knee left hand down as you inhale open through the chest as you exhale bend the left leg and with the left hand right hand even grab hold of the foot sink your hips down keep squeezing your hamstrings pulling the foot closer then release bring the right hand down tuck your toes under step back into down dog inhale left leg up exhale step it through right knee down right hand stays as you inhale left arm up and as you exhale grab hold of the right foot if you can't grab hold of it just keep squeezing your hamstrings to bring the foot a little bit closer inhale release and as you exhale step back into down dog inhale roll over into plank exhale the knees up or down lower down halfway chaturanga inhale to cobra or down dog exhale into down dog bring the feet together look towards your hands inhale bend your legs and as you exhale gently hop forward and fold inhale extended mountain pose exhale into fold inhale half lift exhale into down dog inhale your right leg up exhale step it through drop the back heel for warrior two legs inhale warrior two exhale sink inhale flip your right hand up scoop some air and reverse your warrior inhale come back and as you exhale extended side angle pose forearm on the knee or hand in front or behind the foot strong energy line again inhale and as you exhale drop the left hand lift the back heel step back into down dog or do your connecting vinyasa inhale your left leg up exhale step it through inhale into warrior two exhale stay inhale reverse warrior exhale stay inhale back up and as you exhale extended side angle inhale here 
exhale into down dog inhale stay or roll through your connecting vinyasa bring the feet together and look towards your hands and as you inhale bend the legs exhale hop or walk your hands towards your hand walk your feet towards your hands Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, extended. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, back into down dog. Inhale, right leg up, three legged. Exhale, step the foot through and drop the back heel down. So Back foot is facing 45 degrees out. Keep the right leg straight, slide the right hip back, bring the left hip forward for pyramid. So stay on your fingertips down, hands on the shins as long as uh, on the shin as long as the right leg is straight. Yeah, keep the breath calm and steady. And now shift the weight onto the standing leg. Bring the right fingertips down as you lift your back leg off the mat for half moon. You can bring the block or bring the palm down, extending the left arm out. Trying to roll the chest up towards the ceiling, squeezing the left glute. Strong standing leg. And then if you want to bend the left leg and see if you can grab hold of it with the left hand for Ardha, Ardha Chapanasana and a sugar cane pose. And then gently release the leg, bring the left fingertips down And step back into downward facing dog. Roll over into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, your left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, straighten the leg so you can stay with the right heel lifted or have it 45 degrees out. Notice where you can let go and where you can engage. And bring the fingertips off the center line for stability. Shift your weight onto the left leg, lifting the right leg up rolling out through the hip extend the right arm or keep on the hip brace your core roll the chest out and embrace the wobbles if you want to bend the right leg grab hold of the foot and kick it in Breath is calm and steady. And gently release the leg, land your fingertips, land the back foot, step back into plank, chaturanga or lower down, inhale cobra or down dog. And as you exhale, slide back for child's pose, arms extended or beside you. Connect with your breath. Allow your awareness to settle, followed by sensations. And then as you inhale, 
bring yourself up and slide onto your one of your bum cheeks to bring the legs in front of you then cross the shins so that the feet are more or less where the knees are wave length through the spine and as you exhale leading with your chest folding out your belly fold forward keep the feet flexed and allow yourself to settle around your back bring your awareness to the outside of your hips to your glutes and try to soften as you inhale lift up swap the cross of the legs and don't worry if one side feels a lot different than the other with a tall spine or open chest allow yourself to descend direct your attention where you feel most sensations And as you inhale, gently rise, transition onto your back, slowly and with control. Draw the right knee towards your chest, hug it with the left hand, and then draw the leg over, extending through the right arm. Let go of engagement. The body will naturally lengthen and reset the spine. So you inhale, come back up and swap the legs. Draw the left knee in and drag it across. So see if you can scoop your upper chest so that the shoulder blades are both down and keep the right hand on the left knee just for additional weight bringing the knee further down The next inhalation, gently bring yourself back to the center and extend your arms and legs out. Run very quick. Relaxation. So the body can assimilate the energy you've created through this um, rather speedy, yet hopefully energizing practice. Take a really deep breath in and exhale with as much sound as you like. <sighs> Bend your legs, roll over onto one side, using your arm as a pillow. And slowly bring yourself back up into a comfortable seat. One more time, waving length through the spine, opening through the chest. And gently opening your eyes. So I hope you managed to um, kickstart your, your energy and your confidence with this energizing and hopefully at least a little bit challenging practice. Um, you can always do a couple of those um, or as many as you like or if one um, it's exactly what you need, then it's perfectly fine. So I hope you have a lovely day and I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.